It's happened again. RCMP are investigating yet another fatal crash involving a stolen vehicle. A stolen SUV runs a stop sign. The driver of a stolen car is to blame. It happened around 5.30 Sunday morning. The 14-year-old was behind the wheel of this stolen Honda Civic. Lost control on the wet pavement and hit an oncoming bus. Somebody who drives that recklessly, that fast, their chances of survival are very small. Somebody who hits a phone pole at 40 kilometers an hour, we can put the pieces together. At 140 kilometers an hour, I can't even tell what the pieces are. Why would I steal cars? For the rush. Only pure luck prevented somebody from dying in my chases. I was fearing that I was going to get shot by the police, and that's why I had the gun. Everybody that I know that steals cars whacked up on crystal meth. It's, you know, it goes hand in hand. The drugs and then adrenaline. And adrenaline was a hell of a rush. Who's going to hit us? Fuck. brothers that came in here in a car crash and one of them was dying and there was nothing we could do and they were side by side in this trauma bay with one brother holding I saw his face so there I am looking at the white ceiling in the bathroom and I see his face and I said no God I don't want him with you I want him with me 22-year-old John Reedhead was high on drugs the morning he drove a stolen van through a red light at Maine at East 25th. 30-year-old Bradley Gree of Vancouver died at the scene. At that point, the doorbell rang, and I saw two police officers wearing their uniforms at my door. The first thing that came out of my mouth was, is he dead? Definitely there's got to be something done.